I'm going to get this out of the way real quick. If you're on the market for new rulers and you've got a healthy budget, I have to recommend Quilter Select. Uh, my go-to ruler is the 6x12 Quilter Select ruler. I love it. It was a complete revelation when I first used it. It doesn't just sit on top of the fabric. It really grips it. The fabric does not move. Uh, but it really highlights how frustrating all of my other rulers are. They slip and slide on top of the fabric, especially mid-cut, and it makes for inexact pieces. I've also found that I get really sore after using slippery rulers uh, because I have to put so much pressure on the ruler to keep it in place. It's exhausting, and it's probably why cutting is my least favorite part of quilting. So anyway, I wanted to cut up some scraps for a mini quilt I'm working on, and my favorite 6x12 ruler just seemed like too much ruler for the job. I did have a smaller ruler that would work, but I always dread using it because it's so slippery. But luckily, I had a light bulb moment. I remembered that I had recently rediscovered these ruler stickers in my sewing area. They're called True Grips, and they're made by True Cut. At first glance, when you open the package, it looks like there are only 15 stickers, but if you look a little closer, you'll see that each circle has a smaller circle inside of it. It's sort of like a donut with a donut hole situation. They feel a little bit rubbery, and they've got a very slight squish to them, and it was easy enough to peel them off and apply, but I didn't take the time to remove the small sticker from the large one because I was doing it on camera. I would say the hardest part was figuring out how I wanted to arrange them. Let's see them in action. They do a pretty great job of gripping the fabric. I, I was pleasantly surprised. It's not a perfect solution. There is a little bit of slippage, and because of the way I arranged the stickers, there was a little bit of rocking from side to side. After cutting a heck ton of these scrappy pieces, I can confidently tell you, the True Grip stickers really were a big improvement. I didn't have to deal with any slippage or wonky cuts, and I didn't have any follow-up arm or shoulder strain. I do want to mention I saw a few negative reviews on Amazon, and if I had to guess, I'd say their problems mostly boil down to um, bad sticker placement. I think I mentioned earlier that I, I had a little wobbling on my ruler. I found that by putting some of the little donut hole size stickers right up next to the corners, worked like a charm. No more wobbling. Uh, moral of the story, don't be stingy with the stickers, the more the merrier, and don't be afraid to like pack them in a bit densely. I also noticed that the stickers got a little furry by the time I finished cutting my pieces. Um, I don't think that the furriness diminished their effectiveness, but maybe it's something to keep my eye on. Let's wrap up this video with a quick pro and con list. For the pros we have, excellent for novelty rulers and templates, they're inexpensive, budget friendly, you don't have to replace all your existing rulers, that's a big plus, um, there's almost no slippage, and there is a little, but that could come down to user error on my part. And for the cons we have, sticker placement can be a little tricky to figure out. Uh, I would say the larger your ruler is, the more stickers you'll need, so that could add up. And I'm not sure how long they will last, because I've only used them for this one project. All that being said, if you have the budget for it, I'd still recommend the Quilters Select rulers above everything else, but if brand new rulers aren't in your budget, the True Grip stickers are a great and expensive way to upgrade your existing rulers your novelty rulers, and your templates. If you have any tips and tricks for dealing with slippery rulers, please leave them in the comments section below. If you're curious about the mini quilt I cut all these scraps for, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel to stay updated. And if you want more quilting content, check out my website, thimblestorm.com. <laughs>